Within a few months of starting the Brewlosophy website, I began hearing from readers who thought we should make audible that which we were writing about. I did a decent job of ignoring these requests. That is, until the encouragement from other contributors finally won me over in early 2017. One thing people who listen to podcasts likely don't understand is just how much thought goes into producing a podcast. Hell, I had no clue until I decided to start one myself. Decision, show format. After decision, production schedule. After decision, advertising. After decision, number of breaks. You get the picture. It's more than just pressing record and blabbering on. Perhaps one of my best decisions was made a few months after dropping the first episode of the Brewlosophy podcast. I wasn't necessarily looking to add anything to the show, but I was open to making whatever changes might increase the entertainment value for all of you listeners out there. One very warm June day, while knocking a few back with friends and watching our kids swim in my neighbor's pool, it was my turn to grab the beers. Rather than the ice-cold Miller Lite we'd been drinking, I returned with bottles of Sierra Nevada Pale Ale, at which point my friends Jersey and Tim jumped into a review of this classic American beer. Through tears of laughter, I told the guys their astute reviews would likely be enjoyed by listeners of the Brewlosophy podcast, which they understandably balked at. But I couldn't shake the idea, and we joked about it over the next hour. We had plans to barbecue at Jersey's house that evening, so after swimming, I ran home to grab some dry clothes and figured I'd prepare a little surprise to give my friends a good laugh. It took me no longer than 15 minutes, surprise, surprise, to come up with the jingle for the one-minute beer review with Jersey and Tim and record the entire four-part harmony in my office. One-minute beer review with Jersey and Tim. I played it for everyone an hour later, and by the end of that well-lubricated night, our first beer review session was planned. Since that fateful day in 2017, Jersey and Tim have reviewed over 200 unique beers, with the good majority having been brewed and submitted by listeners. Loved by many, hated by some, these two learned men injected a dose of levity into something that's often defined by people who take themselves a bit too seriously. Beer is supposed to be fun, and that's exactly what Jersey and Tim embodied, a couple of normal dudes sharing their honest and often humorous thoughts on beer in an unpretentious way. Sadly, the one-minute beer review with Jersey and Tim has come to an end. With Jersey on the verge of retirement, it was understandably time for his family to move back to the state where their family began. Having grieved this loss over the past month, it's time to start thinking of what we might do moving forward. And we came up with a few ideas. Option one, replace Jersey with another friend. Now, to be fair, it was actually Jersey who suggested replacing him with a good friend who has a similar level of experience with beer. Should this friend, who has been on previous live episodes of this show, agree to review beers with Tim, little would change from how things have been, though I would have to record a new version of the jingle. Option two, replace Jersey with Marshall. After just a few months of having beer reviews on the show, people began commenting on how the guys' abilities seemed to be improving as they began using more descriptive terms and enjoying a broader range of styles. One idea floated by a local listener of the podcast was to have yours truly join Tim for the reviews. The idea being that as a BJCP judge and experienced brewer, I'd be able to provide a more pointed evaluation. Should this be the route we end up going, we'll make sure to keep the reviews from getting too haughty, uh, though it will likely be at least somewhat less boisterous. Option three, nix the beer review segment from the show. Considering how often I hear from folks about their love of the one minute beer review with Jersey and Tim, I'm doubtful this is the option listeners will want, but it is an option. I personally enjoy featuring other brewers and their beer on the show. Plus, I like how the the beer review segment fits into each episode, but removing it altogether won't have a huge impact on formatting or production. The average length of the introduction segment currently is about 11 minutes, so removing the beer review would reduce that by roughly three minutes, give or take. Nothing drastic. Well, lovers of data that we are, we want to know what the people who really matter, that's you, think would be best. Our hope is that those of you who do enjoy listening to the Brewlosophy podcast will take a couple seconds to complete a single question survey, letting us know what you think. The link to this single question survey can be found in the description of this episode, whether you're listening on Apple, Google, Spotify, or wherever else. All you have to do is scroll to the description, click the link, answer just one question, and that's it. As bummed as we all are that the one minute beer review with Jersey and Tim is over, we're all very happy for what the future has in store for Jersey and his family. And worry not, we've still got a few more reviews in the can that will be aired in upcoming episodes before any changes are made. And on a more personal note, I'm beyond grateful for the relationship Jersey, Tim, and I forged over the years of drinking Juniper IPA and Bud Light Miller Light Kurzlat. Cheers and think beer.